Hey everyone, it's Ginny from Homestead Corner, and today we're going to try out an MRE. Uh, it's menu number 14, Creamy Spinach Fettuccine. Alright, let's pop this baby open and see what we got. When you open it up, everything's sealed in another bag inside. <clears throat> All right. So first we've got the creamy spinach fettuccine, some hot sauce. That's better condiments than the last one. The last one had ketchup and mustard, and I'm not a fan of yellow mustard, some peanut butter. Uh, this has a first strike chocolate flavor nutritious energy bar. Hmm. I definitely like chocolate. And oh I love these. The little flameless heaters. Those are super cool to heat everything up. We got some chocolate protein drink powder. So you just put your liquid right in the bag, it looks like. There's a little fill line on the back, that makes it simple. And a spoon. And some pretzels, yum. Nice crunchy and salty treat. A uh, hot beverage bag, so you can fill this up and stick it in with your MRE and heat that. And your little pack of goodies. And then what's this? Some crackers. Very cool. And your little heating pouch. All right. And then we've got some little toilet paper in here. And some non-dairy creamer packet of sugar, a little bit of salt, and here we've got some instant coffee, yeah, instant coffee, yum, a moist toilet, two pieces of caffeinated gum, and some matches because you always need some matches. Okay, so we'll get started with our main course. We want to heat that up. Uh, creamy spinach fettuccine and we are just going to tear open this bag of the heater. Tear that there so it's open. Alright, so we're going to just stick this baby right in here. Still works without it. Worked last time. Okay. And then it's got little water lines. You're just going to fill it with water to there while well, everything's in there. Oh. And you don't want to overfill them because then it won't work. You want to make sure you just fill to the fill line. Let's see if I can straighten that out and see it. And I'm just using regular old room temperature bottled water. All right, so once we got that filled to the fill line here, we're going to roll this down and just make sure this back thing gets soaking wet because that is what the heat comes from. You do start to feel this fill up with air once it starts heating. So we're just gonna set this off to the side. And I'm gonna fill up my hot water beverage and we're gonna make some coffee. I'm only gonna put about six ounces in here because there's 
I like my coffee a little stronger. And we're just going to fold this over and try to get as much air out as we can without losing our water. That's the trick. And then you can feel this is already heating up. You can feel the heat in the back. It's already expanding. I'm going to take this and slip it right inside and heat this at the same time. Oh, stinky. Stick that right down in there. We're gonna close this back up. We're gonna let it sit. I think this takes about 10 minutes. Okay, so let's check out this chocolate protein powder drink. Shake it down a little. Just tear the top open and add some water. So, it says about eight ounces. <clears throat> it says about eight ounces of water. There's a fill line. See how it goes. It says cold water. Make sure it's sealed good before you flip it over. It'll be covered in it. <laughs> All right. Shake it about 60 seconds. We did that. Consume promptly. Gotta get on this. Okay. Well, it looks like chocolate syrup in there. Kind of tastes like chocolate syrup, too. Not bad. Not too bad. Nice and chocolatey. Super chocolatey. That's good. That's not horrible. Thank goodness. There's one. All right. Now, first strike nutritious energy bar. Let's try this bad boy out. Chocolate flavored. I like that. All right, so it looks like this. It looks like a chocolate and oatmeal bar, kind of. Mm. It's not super chocolatey, but it's not awful. Definitely tastes like a chocolate energy bar like you would buy in the store. Not bad. Not my favorite thing, but not bad. All right. So we got some pretzels here. I do like pretzels. There's the tail. oxygen absorber in there. Just pretzel sticks. Yummy. Yeah, nice and fresh. I don't know if you can see in there. There's quite a few. Yeah. That's one ounce. It's a nice, decent snack size to go with your meal. All right, we got some crackers and peanut butter here. This sounds good. Yeah, those bad boys open. They're full sheets. If you can get them out. Yeah, full sheets of crackers. There's no salt on the top, but it could be salty Let's inside. See, a little peanut butter. Let's try it out. The peanut butter is nice and creamy. It's really not too dry. All right, well, I think the water's as hot as it's gonna get, so it's been in there for five more minutes. Oh, that's a towelette, we don't want that. It's that creamer right here. 
So we're going to stick our coffee, sugar, and creamer in a little cup. Make some coffee. Because I love me some coffee. All right, let's check our water out. It's definitely warmed up a little bit more. It's not super hot, but good enough. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Our meal should be just about done, too. So we just heated that up right in with the meal in the pouch. So we have hot water. We're going to pour it right in. Let's see what we got. It's just a little coffee. Good enough coffee. In an emergency, this would be fabulous. All right. Let's see how dinner's coming. That little heater is hot. Careful grabbing this bag. If you get one of these, you want to be careful about it. All right. Well, this is nice and warm. Let's see what it is. See what she looks like. Okay, so it's definitely not the most attractive thing I've ever seen. But it's got pretty good flavor. Not bad, it's tons of spinach in it, which I do love spinach. And you can taste some garlic and onions, some good, the halfway good spices. It's not horrible, it's pretty good actually for what it is. Um, definitely not homemade quality, but it's not awful, and it would definitely be nice for a nice warm meal in case of an emergency. This is definitely something I would buy again. Um, it's not horrible. I like it. So everything was pretty good, actually. You know, it's nice. I don't know if I'd want hot sauce on here, or I guess you could dip your pretzels in it. But, um, but not too bad definitely worth the money great to have in case of emergencies I would definitely keep some of these in the house um, I like the beef patty one that I tried with the pepper jack that one was really good as well I'll link the video up top here somewhere so you can check that one out if you didn't get to see it and that is it for this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe we'll see you in the next video bye